Okay, so like I said, I really wanted to go over number one because only two people solved it the way I did, although the other ways people solved were good ways. I just realized that it, I thought my way was the easiest. Um, this is what a lot of people in third period did, though. They borrowed my stamp and they graphed the equations because they were both in y equals mx plus b. So this would be negative 4 and 2 up and 1 over, 2 up and 1 over. So they were able to graph the first one pretty well. And then the second one is negative 2 with a negative slope. So it's going down like this. Is it crossing at 0 or 2 comma 0? It's not even crossing right because I just graphed it wrong. But it's crossing down in the fourth quadrant. So it's a visual way of showing this doesn't work. That's not what I did, though. I checked it. I took the xy pair, and I said, well, if 0 is y, I can rewrite the first equation as 0 equals 2 times the x, which is 2, minus 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So the first equation checks. You all know that this is not a right answer, though. So what do you think is going to happen when I check the second one? Yeah. It won't work. 0 equals negative 2 minus 2. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. That doesn't work. So my reason was no, because I plugged in zero and or 2 and 0 for x and y in both equations, and it didn't work in the second equation. I saw people say no on this because the intersection is in the fourth quadrant. I saw people who use substitution. These were both solved for y. I saw people who said, this was really smart, I didn't think of this. They were like, well, if they're both equal to y, I can say 2x minus 4 is equal to negative x minus 2. Which is a substitution, right? So lots of different ways to solve number one. I will take three questions on other questions in the test. What would you guys like to see done? On any other page or even on the rest of this page? This one down here? Okay. Well, first, before I can do 2B, I have to do 2A, or the first part of 2. I gave you guys a hint to let Y equal the total. I'm concerned that there's eyes I should see up here that aren't. If you need to move closer, do so. I made x equal weeks. I could relate to like, the five dollars you treat like that. The, the two equations, the first one I wrote was for your bank account, which was y is equal to 10x. The second was for the brother's bank account, which is y is equal to 75 minus 5x. And then there were lots of ways to solve it. The other thing I had mentioned is you could set this up with just the x and set them up opposite each other and solve for the hours. Okay, so what did we find? We found that x is equal to five, not hours, weeks. <laughs> x is equal to five weeks. What would y equal then? It's $50. And some of you had that up here. Some of you didn't show it until you got down to the graphing. I'm going to show you in the interest of time how I originally graphed it. So I don't have to make the graph real quick in front of you all. Here's how I set it up. My x value was the time, was the weeks. My y value was the total in dollars. So x goes along here, y goes here. You can tell this is the brother's line because he's spending money but not making money every week, right? So it's a negative slope, which makes sense in the problem. And then your account is going up. Where do they meet? At 5 comma 50. What does that mean in the context of the problem? 
after five weeks, they both have $50. Does that help with that question, Huey? Okay. Um, some of you I saw divided the graph into like quadrants. I didn't because the the second or the first equation starts at zero and goes up, and the second one started at seventy five and went down. And I just I knew we wouldn't really re need negatives, so that's why I just graphed the first quadrant. Okay, two more. What other questions from this would you like me to solve for you? Any on pages two or three? Page four. Okay, which part of page four? Okay, actually, I think both of these kind of go together, so I'll just do the whole thing. Um, if you're looking at number one for standard six four, it says Paris solved this sub the system of equations y is equal to three x minus one, and we don't know the second equation. That's what the question mark is, and ended up with no solution. What does no solution tell you that the lines are going to look like? They're going to be parallel. They're going to have the same slope, but a different y-intercept. So with knowing that, I want to go simplify these and see if two of these are parallel to this equation. So if I divide this, all of them need to be divided by 2. This one would end up being y is equal to 3x minus 1. Okay, well that's not parallel to that, it's the same equation. So I just wrote under this, this is the same. This one would be y divide, 2y divided by 2 is y, 6x divided by 2 is 3x, negative 10 divided by 2 would be negative 5. Is this parallel to this? No. It has the same slope and a different y-intercept, so this is parallel. This could be one of mine. This one's already solved or simplified, and it's the same exact equation as this and as this. So it's not going to be no solution. It's going to be infinite solutions. And what about this one? If I divide everything here by 2, I get y is equal to 3x minus 2. Same slope, different y-intercept. We have another parallel line. So I answered this as B and D because they're parallel. I wrote all this out when I actually took it. Because they're parallel, so they will never intersect. That means no solution. If they will never intersect, they'll never cross over each other, no solution. That made number two pretty easy because they're the same equations. But what was the question asking on number two? infinitely many solutions. So that means I need to find equations that are the exact same as this, and which did we find above were the same? A and C are the same equation. That means that they're infinite. And if you weren't here that day, I'm just going to ask your eyes to be up here real quick, and I'll show you why. If I graph 3x minus 1, it's going to look like this, and once it's graphed, every single xy pair on this line is a solution I could put into this equation and have it come out true. When this line simplifies to the same thing, I can't graph it a second time, it's already graphed. It's just the same exact line. So if they're the same, every point that matches on here is going to be a solution for it. And why is it infinite? Because this line just keeps going and going and going in both directions. Okay. Any other questions on pages two or three? I could take one more. This was probably, page three was probably the next biggest mistake section I saw. Lots of people did great on page two. Go figure. Page two is substitution, the best method. No questions on this? Okay. 